All right, it's uh, June 7th, maybe, 8th. The lake's like 12 feet high. Can't get on any of the boat ramps anywhere, so um, I got the canoe and we've come in on a back access. I don't know if you can still see the truck down the road, but I've had to row quite a ways and the place where you're normally parking fish is still up here about maybe 30 yards or so. Again, I think the lake is at least 12 feet high. Everything's shut down, campgrounds, boat ramps. It's a perfect time for the flathead though. The water temperature is just right and uh, I just couldn't stand not to be on the water. So I got eight rods out. We'll run through, check them out, see what we got going. Had big baits, little baits. Been putting night crawlers on all the hooks before I put the other bait on them. And uh, dude, it's been working really, really well for us. So that way if a uh, fish pulls off that bluegill you still got a little bit of some kind of scent on there that a fish might come to and uh, back in all this flooded water I had some with me one night and I just everything smelt kind of organic and uh, I decided I'd put those night crawlers on there that was the night we had 20 on 25 that was the personal best we've ever done so all right we'll roll through and see what we got thanks I think we got one fish on eight haven't had a bait fish left, haven't had a fish. But this one I do believe has a fish. Hey, great big baits because I was expecting flatheads to be moving up in here and that's I think what I messed up. I had two bigger baits. But the way the, you know, I mean, I just, the conditions are right that I think the flathead should be up in here. So I tend to kind of oversize when that's going on. And uh, that is one of my smaller hooks. So that would have been one of the smaller baits, even though none of them were really very small. Pretty good size. All right, well. It's one on eight, 12 and a half lousy percent. I mean, I guess it's better than zero. 150th trip in a row to catch fish, but I was hoping for four, five, six, and a couple of big flats. I was hoping for a 25, 35 plus. So, I'm gonna run by. It looks to me like they're dumping water right now. And the lake I drove by yesterday, they weren't letting any water out. Usually when a body of water starts falling, that really turns the fishing off for a period of time. And there's a stain on all these trees about three inches. And uh, even way back in here where there really wasn't any wind yesterday. So I think they started dropping water on me last night. Maybe before I put them in. But one fish had several big baits left at the end there. So, all right. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully next time we'll do a little bit better. Thanks.